Welcome to another Gamers Rules recap. Uh, my name is Neo. Thank you for everyone for coming tonight. We've got uh, Skippy and PCAP and Team One. We got Skippy is USA Vanilla. We've got PCAP uh, who sold his building. Looks like uh, USA. Have to see what that ends up being. We got Wildcard, which is GLA Toxin, and we've got Neo uh, GLA. I think after all this time playing the game, I would know. So right now we've got Skippy, Dozer, full across the bridge. Uh, he's got his building his barracks. Neo sees him. He's got workers headed. However, he's going to be able to stop him in time. Wild card, uh, steady build order. Going north to try to take the supply as well as oil derricks up top. We've got PCAP already building his barracks. So aggressive uh, for Team 1. Which, for Skippy and PCAP, when they're usually together, uh, they'll both tell you that uh, they usually don't win. Uh, aggressiveness is usually a different story, but here they are, uh, pushing it out right now as we speak. Skippy, giant uh, say army of push uh, in the front here, has already killed one of the uh, workers at the barracks. Really pushing out very hard, lost that. Uh, Neo should probably should have sold that in time. Uh, Neo right now trying to get his war factory up, and I'm assuming to get quad cannons out. We've got wild card again, barracks up. Working on getting a, he's got a supply up, which is an interesting build, and he's got his tunnel up with his two workers, or his two run RGB troops. to take out that dozer. We've got working on building his other tunnel at this time. PCAP in his base, he does have a home VR already. PCAP will be aggressive when he's USA. He does have a forward supply. He's got his main supply. He's doing well for money. Skippy has only got one Chinook in the back. He did kill Neo's worker that he got into the back of his base. Neo right now is again trying to push out squad cannons to take care of Skippy's barracks here. Doing everything he can. Skippy, unfortunately, did not micromanage his rocket troops very well. Neo is able, able to pick them off. Uh, killed most of them. Skippy's down to just a few. It looks like Neo has finally killed them all. Barely almost dead. Double promoted quad cannon. Uh, there we go. Neo's got that killed. Looks like he's about to get his next quad cannon out of the base. Barracks about to be gone. Did get the rocket troop. Working on the next rocket trooper. There we go. Second, second quad cannon up. So, Skippy aggressive in the front. Got troops across the bridge. Got a, got a dozer across the bridge. Doesn't have anything else. There's no barracks, no war factory. All his effort was across the base. Uh, valiant effort. Neo pushes in, uh, as he should, not knowing, of course, what Skippy had, but seeing him build that and has continued to pump out quad cannons, uh, that's, that's what he needs to do. Paul's Humvee is still sitting across the bridge. He had some time pop, potentially, before Kyle built his tunnel network, so however, Kyle is going across the bridge now with four RPG troops. He solidified the north and kicked uh, PCAP out. Uh, so now Kyle, our wildcard, does own the supply depot in the north as well as the two oil derricks, uh, which he has not captured yet. Uh, has not built a war factory yet. It's just going straight infantry at the moment. Did take out the one Humvee. Second Humvee is on the route, but wildcard is on his way to PCAP's base to help disrupt. Neo did kill the dozer as well as the barracks that Skippy was building. is now at Skippy's base, taking care of his sold Chinook. At this point, Skippy's in trouble. He just built, rebuilt his barracks. His turret, unfortunately, is too far to the west. Skippy now has no money coming in, and, and Neo's continuing to produce quad cannons. So, how things have changed so quickly on the southern border is interesting. Skippy tries to sell the building at time. At this point, Neo's got two almost fully upgraded quad cannons. Uh, unless PCAP gets over here very quickly with his three Humvees, uh, Skippy's going to be out of this game, though. He went aggressive. Uh, he went fantastic. He did Neo on his heels. Uh, if Neo had got, gotten out that one quad cannon, uh, it would have been a difference. And if Skippy had actually microed on that quad cannon versus continuing just to kill Neo's uh, war factory, would have been different. Unfortunately, with those upgraded quad cannons, make short work of PCAP's three Humvees. That's it. Neo has got one quad cannon in his base. Skippy has nothing at this point. No power. Two dozers. And, and it's sitting there for $400. So at this point, Skippy is neutralized and 
and has been defeated and quit given his resources and you have been over to uh, PCAP. And it looks like PCAP is still trying the Humvees at this point. Still has supplies going. So PCAP is, is doing okay, sitting on nearly $5,000. Wildcard's a little over five. Neo's at only 800. So Neo's main attack was really two quad cannons. And with power back uh, for PCAP, his Patriot makes short work of Neo's uh, sneak attack. However, about to lose Skippy's old command center at this point. Uh, still producing quad cannons, now working at black markets. Uh, so Neo is back up. Wildcard has built back in his base a tunnel to help out. Uh, really, Wildcard with nearly $9,000, so I want to stop him at the moment. Uh, PCAP has not had the ability to put him in the fire base, which may have stopped this incursion. Unfortunately, that Humvee goes down quick. Uh, PCAP really needs to put some Rangers in these Humvees if he wants to take out this force before that fire base is killed. Still, still collecting, still producing money. Still sitting about $2,600. He's working on building a strategy center at this point. We're about six and a half minutes into the game. Uh, Neo is not really moving into Skippy's old base. Still producing. Not sure why I decided to build a tunnel here and not across the bridge and go collect some of these supplies or take either one of these oil derricks. Um, I have not captured either of my oil derricks on the other side or on my side yet. Really focusing on. Um, solidifying my defense, which I'm not sure what my thought was here. It was around the Humvees potentially coming around this way, but at this point, I'm taking my three Humvees or three quad cannons that I have into PCAP's base. He's got no men garrison in either of these turrets. PCAP does see me and about to move his dozer. And here comes his quad cannons, which are loaded with Rangers. PCAP does make short work, one left, minimal health. Uh, that'll take care of that. And PCAP's about to finish his strategy center. So, uh, PCAP has stalled the attack at the moment. However, the economy uh, on Team 2 is going to be too much here in a minute. Uh, Wildcard has only taken that one oil derrick. Neo still has not taken any of his or any of Skippy's at this point. Uh, does have troops over there to do so. And as predicted, here comes the Humvees from PCAP. Other side of the bridge where Skippy once was. Uh, that was my thought. Uh, never to let any of these Humvees into the base. Should just garrison my two other in the building. I should take care of that. You can see PCAP is trying to solidify this in the hopes of potentially coming over here and capturing the supply, uh, keeping me at bay while he also keeps Wildcard at bay. Wildcard does have a war factory up at the top with easy access to the base. PCAP still, has, for some reason, has not loaded any troops into this fire base. So you can just put two Rangers and two. Uh, rocket troops in there and make a world of difference. Uh, however, uh, he does not seem inclined to do so, though he does have a barracks very close. Uh, PCAP again still collecting, uh, sitting about $5,500, wild cards about $7,500, Neo at $5,000. So at this point, the economies are going well in all. You see the Humvees did make it across the bridge. And now I would be able to Neo's base. Did kill his supply workers. So, on these, one is almost dead. Uh, the other one, about uh, half dead. Wildcard sees this. He's coming on to that. There's a the building that needs to take care of those Humvees at this point, as well as the US RPG troopers. So, uh, realistically, I lost uh, about six workers. Not quite sure again how PCAP made it through this defensive line. I was looking elsewhere on the screen. Uh, but I'm doing a sneak attack in the back of PCAP space. I have captured the two oil derricks across. Still have not captured the ones on my side of the base. We go back up north. We see Wildcard here with about 15 or so uh, quad cannons. Still waiting on PCAP. Has, still has not garrisoned that building, the fire base. Does have a Humvee there, uh, but has been cleared out of the bottom of his two Humvees. So, uh, again, about a, about a thousand dollar setback. I haven't even rebuilt my workers yet at this point with the 
to an old Derek's and I'm still sitting at $5,600. So building some defenses again to plug this hole so that PDM cannot come across it again. I'll take care of that. He did kill my sneak attack in the back uh, with a single Humvee. So PCAP is working on finally garrisoning this fire base in the north. Uh, it might be a little too late at this point. He did pull his dozer to build an airfield. Does has a bring to bring his company in and assist, but without repairing that fire base, the squad can't really make short work of all those troops. I think if PCAP had done that a little bit sooner, maybe kept his dozer there and had a secondary Patriot missile here and here, it would have been a difference, but he was about to lose that dozer. Airfield's not going to be able to produce it at the time. Might be able to get off one chopper, but probably not this great. So at this point, wild card is in. You got space. A couple Humvees. I don't think there's enough left here yet. You get decided to quit uh, too much. Those rocket bugs and quad cannons and took care of that. So aggressive start for Team 1. Very, very aggressive start for Team 1. But you know, even with the, the stats the way they were, uh, you can see Skippy, you know, with one Chinook, it's hard to maintain momentum at that point. So uh, in under 12 minutes, uh, we're going to call it here. Uh, so thank you for joining us for another replay of Gamer's Rules on Neo. Have a great night.